Welcome back. We're about to ascend the stairs, face the Stellaron, and, well, the Madam Guardian and whatever she's done with Bronya. I really hope Bronya's okay. Not brainwashed or controlled or in peril. She's a good person. But before we do that, we have three wishes. This will take us up to 80 total. So, well, there will have been a 90% chance that we will have gotten Kafka by then. So, let's see. I don't think I've ever actually had to go into the 80s before. But there's a first time for everything. Still nothing, huh? Oh, wait! That was... I didn't realize that I didn't hear the uh, change in musical tone there. Oh, cool. So we have Japard. Nice. With his giant gun. I'll be honest, Japard, I would have preferred Kafka, but I won't turn you down. I guess we'll just have to wait for her next banner someday. At least we do have Silver Wolf. That is a consolation. And of the two, she is the one I would prefer. Let's see. Unyielding Will. When struck with a killing blow, instead of becoming knocked down, Jabhar's HP immediately restores to 25% of his max. Can be triggered once per battle. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's see his technique. After Jepard uses his technique, when the battle next begins, a shield will be applied to all allies, absorbing damage equal to 24% 24, 24 of his defense, plus 150 for two turns. Nice. Wrist okay there, buddy? You're not getting carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel, are you? His attack, I think, is actually weaker than many people's. Say, for example, no, oh, no, 50%. Never mind. Yeah, I guess 50% is the normal. I don't know why I was under the impression that sometimes they're higher. Maybe the trial characters I use, it's higher, but that's probably because they're more, you know, their traces have been leveled up. Daunting Smite deals ice damage equal to 100% of his attack to a single enemy, 65% base chance to freeze the enemy for one turn. Oh, cool. I don't think Palos has a base chance to just freeze them straight up. She has to get the reaction, or the break, I mean. While frozen, the enemy cannot take an action. It will take additional ice damage equal to 30% of his attack at the beginning of each turn. Not really preservation related, but still. Not bad. And then his ultimate enduring bulwark. 100 energy cost. I'll have to compare that to some others to see how much that is. Applies a shield to all allies, absorbing, absorbing damage equal to 30% of his defense, plus 150 for three turns. So a little better than his technique. Very good. Alright, Japard. You're like, uh. Like you're like a better March 7th. We can only do one shield per person. Granted, her shield is also her skill, so it's easier to apply. To be fair to her. There we are. He's level 40, 40 as well now. And of course, we can't ascend him yet. Um. Oh, don't mind if I do. Have I collected that from others?
Yeah, I guess it guess I did. And then let's see. Ice damage increased by 3.2%. Don't mind if I do. Enduring bulwark is leveled up to 31% of his defense, plus 240. What is your defense, actually? Only this one requires this endurance of bronze. Oh, this levels up his base attack. 60%. Yeah, that explains it. The others would have been leveled up. The trial characters. Oh, anyone who's... Any that's gotten up to level 2 needs that as well. Very good. Still at 65%. Actually, that might be higher. No, it's going to be only the orange letters. Twenty-seven percent of his max HP. Nice. So he will be even better if you can get him to be the primary target. Combine someone like him with someone like Baylu, and well, you'll have a hard time going down. Speaking of which, yeah, we can't. Uh, Level up her stuff yet. We can get the tra the I almost said the traveler. The trailblazers though. Very good. She is quite strong now. And you, Serval. Looks like we can get you up too. That'll come handy for the upcoming battle. And Silver Wolf, you only get one, huh? Hmm. Which one to do, then? Your, your normal attack? No. Her ultimate? Oh, wow. Her ultimate actually decreases their defense for three turns. Well, has an 86% base chance. And then just deals massive damage, of course. This will increase the chance of adding a weakness. That I like. And obviously it will increase the amount that it reduces their resistances to all types. And then increase the amount of damage. Yeah, let's go with her skill. I feel like her skill is the most important one for her. Oh, you lucky that. Asta. And you, Don Hung. All right, let's go. Don't worry, Branya, we're coming. Everwinter Hill. All team must, or the team must include the Trailblazer. All team members must be at level, at a level not lower than 30. I think we're good there. May encounter some mystery. Decaying shadow. Oh boy. Is there anyone I can... Oh good. Looks like... Uh... Silver Wolf will come in handy there. As will Serval. Herta would... Or not Herta, but Asta would come in handy too, but... We can't go there. We need Beilu too, so... Alright. Oh, what did that say? The crew's journey in Eurelo 6 will soon come to an end. Venture into the land of winter, face the wrath of Kokolia head on, and defeat her evil schemes. Not that she thinks they're evil, of course. Neverwinter Hill. Ah, it's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Yeah. The power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. <laughs> That's it means bad. That we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Yeah. 
It makes sense that as we get closer to the, you know, where everything started, that, um, well, the conditions would just get worse and worse. I'm still surprised that Belvobog was the city that was able to survive, given how close it is to the origin of the disaster. Hmm. More of the Legion. I think I remember those horse things. I think I fought one. Oh, investigate. The frozen remains of Void Rangers are scattered along the mountain path. Even the ruthless antimatter legion is helpless against the might of the Eternal Freeze. Well, the Stellaron, I suppose, did answer their wish in a very monkey's paw kind of way. The Void Ranger remains are preserved remarkably well in the ice. You can't help but wonder. Perhaps March 7th is right. What? About March 7th is right about what? March 7th, what did you say? Either way, you think that it's best not to unfreeze them. Oh, certainly. It's the last thing we need. Did the architects build this? Oh, wow. Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in well, the city. Well, that's because that is very clearly... Does it look like yeah. the palm of a huge hand to you? Exactly. I'll say that is because that is very clearly a, a giant mecha hand. That is awesome. Wow. If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage, mm, I'm worried it's we worse have than to that. Save her. The underworld. No. The entire planet relies on her. It does. I'm worried though that she's either controlling her somehow. Well, somehow. Either the Stellaron is impacting her mind or that she's even, honestly, even worse is that she's been convinced to their side. I gonna hope, place my trust in Branya though. This looks new. Sustenance anchor. It looks a little different than the other ones, but I guess it's really the same. At least in terms of healing. There they are. Is that the Stellaron? Don't mind me. Just taking a look around. No. Fight it, Branya. I know you can do it. It's just a Stellaron. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. Don't do it, Branya. No! I... I don't want this. Good, Branya. Fight it. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. Yeah, you know why I won't have all those things, Kakolia? Because there won't be people. It'll be an empty world. A pointless world. And also, I still doubt you, you'll be around to guard it. I don't know what the Stellaron has promised you, but it's a force of destruction. It doesn't care for you. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable 
indisputable strength is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears instead of hearing the call. Well, in this case, because it's uh, doing so, will lead to the eradication of your society. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Oh, Kokolia, you fool. You're brainwashing and here, you witch! <laughs> Tell her, Zila. Zila? Yeah. She came for you, Branya. You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. Never. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. <laughs> and we're not going down after either. Don't worry, Zila. We'll make sure of that. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. Oh, Zila. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Celeron thing. <laughs> probably best we don't tell her this is basically just an adventure to us, March. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Aww. Oh, Zila, I love your two's relationship. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. Oh, don't worry. I think Branya's fighting it. Bellabog needs you, Branya. Zila. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. Oh no. Here we go. The real thing. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Brownia. Yeah. Huh? I want to witness your choice. Oh. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. Oh. There are no more secrets between us. What was your wish? Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the architect's so-called preservation. You were a good guardian for a time. My conviction was once steadfast. But what unparalleled. happened? Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. Hmm. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so tangible. So you're trying to take the easy way, huh? Even though that leads to destruction? I'm sorry, Bronya. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you are not there beside me to watch over that new world, hmm. then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. Even at this point, she is... She does still care for her. I really do love the touch that she has the same airing as what she 
probably presumably gave to Branya. She's not completely gone. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Hmm. I, for Branya's sake, I really hope we can actually save Kokolia. Free her from this madness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Aww. Choose, my daughter. Oh, Branya. This is almost cruel. It's almost even more cruel to make her choose, make this choice. <clears throat> Madam Kukuli, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I, I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Oh, I feel so bad for her having to having to do this. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. <laughs> Yeah, you have, Branya. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Persevere until the end. Struggling all the way. It's what humans do. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. That's a good word for it. The seed of ruin. That is well said, Branya. Can't make out what it was saying to her. We are Guardian's mother. Chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So this is your choice. I understand, Branya. I also feel bad for Kokolia. Having to face her own daughter, who she tr clearly does care for. It's just tragedy. Curse you, Stellaron. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. <sighs> You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. I don't think she wants to give birth to that destruction, Kokolia. Oh no. It's shaking. Is the giant it's mecha happening. hand? Is it actually gonna are we gonna fight the giant robot? That sign. The fate of this city of Bellabog is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. To think the Supreme Guardian, sworn and trusted above all to protect Bellabog and put its safety first and foremost, is doing their best to usher in its destruction. And you will become the foundation of the new world. You must break the old to build the new. Uh-oh. The Supreme Guardian commands you! <laughs> what are you doing? Rise, engine of creation! Oh, it is. It is totally... 
Yep. It's one of the architect's ancient machines. Watch out, all of you. I gotta hand it to the architects. They were fantastic engineers. Almost surprised they weren't a spacefaring civilization at this point. Or at that point. This, this robot's a thousand times bigger than Sparog. Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. And we can't even target it. I mean, where would he, what would we, what would he even target? Time for a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the main event. Um, just go ahead and hit him. Let's rock. Let's make it quick. Mm. Engine, break them! Oh no. Please no. Ow! We have to stop it! No kidding, Zila. What do you suggest? Alright, let's um let's not fall behind on our healing. Ready to jam. Can you let Good. me have some fun this time? <laughs> Excellent. Wait, did I not? Scratch. I was kind of hoping. There would be no enemies missing the uh, weaknesses I have for them, but oh well. This combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Excellent. Um, yeah, I get this one too. Good. <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's, um... Let's hold on to our stuff. Let's, Let's go. Batter up! We're gonna need healing How soon. Bring a giant like this down? Uh, we can't. Let me tend to your wounds! Yeah, he also will work for this. Gotta get those vitamins! Good as new. Good, good, good. I was kinda hoping I would die, but. Oh, wonderful. Time for a buzz. Should be able to get all three of you. <laughs> Dead now. an electro weakness wait enter did you regenerate our energy why oh because we killed it uh oh first this combat needs optimizing at this speed, too slow. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Thank you, Servo. Oh, wonderful. Huh. That eliminated More the other enemies. one completely. Time for a buzz. <laughs> This song's just for you. This is their defense, but... Turn up! Football, you! Let's make it quick. Not the, um... Oh, this is a good opportunity Time for the your... Time to shoot! Of What's in your prescription? There we go. Who's the one? Is that the giant robot? Yeah. It's about to shoot us. Um, I'm not gonna be able to take this one down before Baylu goes. Take this! Ow. Still hurts. Somebody needs a doctor. 
Yes, they do. Ow. Can you heal me? Can you let me have some fun? The King Shadow has nine stacks of corruption. Come on, let's break you. Pretty good crowd today. One stack. I was a brick in. This is our chance. Let me ten feet. Stay off. Much better. See. More enemies. See if we can't defeat you before. Now we're gonna need your burst. Rules are made to be broken. You're out. <laughs> You're out. Love it. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's restore to five. Can we defeat you fully? Oh, actually, we still have Bayo after this. Hello. This combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. This should do it, I think. Oh, almost at least. Nice. Well, battle over. We're still got this giant robot. a bit of support was that the star it's rail Himeko. it's Himeko. oh fantastic hello can you me because the signal's terrible yeah there's all kinds of interference from the stellaron presumably Himeko, you finally spared a thought for us yeah it was mostly at welts prodding if i remember right though what are you talking about welt and i've been up on a thing you the You've got quite the trailblazing condition on your hands. Oh, yeah. Still, is that a smirk on your face? So, how did the um, guy work? No, it isn't. Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. Can So, can we just have you call in an orbital... Or, can we call in an orbital strike from you, then? That is incredibly helpful. <laughs> if so... Or still can go all Shadow of Colossus on it. Thank you, Branya. It is an impressive machine. Ah, uh, Zila. Still wish I had you. Oh, it's almost a shame to break such a wondrous machine. Dang, thank you, Don Hung. Oh, Kakolia. Behold, the power granted by them. Oh. Oh. Listen to the power surge. Sing! The oh. Stellaron's promise Kalia. is the only hope for this world. You have been Just truly... as it dispelled the antimatter legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world. Truly fully corrupted. Oh, it's just me. Stay alert. Shoot. No. Our... Our friends should show up. Take this. Come on. Rules are made to We're be taken you down, Napoleon. Though, <laughs> Kakolia, the mother of deception. Well, I would say more like the victim of deception, but. 
Let's make it quick. <laughs> the harbinger of annihilation. Looks like that targets more. No, oh, no, never mind. Batter up. Let's go. But yeah, you have a wonderful boss theme, Colia. <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. You are beyond saving, Let Colia. Let me bestow upon you despair. You are wholly a part of the fragmentum now. Ooh, ow! That's gotta hurt. still is this the universe I would say this is more like death but but I was fighting Kokolia why am I here no this is definitely not the universe this is something else the last time I came here I drew Nanook's gaze could it be? All right. <laughs> that space. Find a way to escape this strange space and return to reality. Very cool. I don't know what this is, but... The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal districts for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. Oof. But I... Poor Jepard. Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. Yeah. It corrupts them. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. This is before or after her corruption. Soldiers, and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. That's when she cast her out. You need to come to your senses, Servo. Come to my senses? What are you? Guards, Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Oof. I'm... Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. I'm not positive this was before. Why, Kakalia? Why have you grown so cold? Oh no, yeah, this has got to be after. Serval Landau. You were my most cherished friend. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely after it had gotten to her. Stellaron, Stellaron, Stellaron. Madam Kakolia, so many guardians, the you are searching this way. It's too dangerous here. <sighs> Foolish. Weak. What? Madam, what are you saying? Only I, only I can understand. You sacrifice these guards. That do not see, ears that do not hear. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. 
feast on their willful ignorance. Absolve them of their stupidity wow. and fear. She truly is gone. Those poor guards who trusted her more than anything. And all the ones still there. I still don't understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? That's the point. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. Slowly but surely. You, me, and every silver main guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? Mm. Choice a higher mission? Just gave her, yeah. <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Slowly but surely sabotaging their defenses. Making bad decisions. Which caused more people to die than would have had to. Allowing the Fragmentum to encroach further and further. Is that little Branya? Previous Supreme Guardians. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Oh. Yeah, that actually does sound like the uh, voices she hears. This is not what preservation would have wanted. Ah, a believer, I see. The Fragmentum had been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only despair. Mm. So it was the will of all the Guardians that was corrupted, not just Kokolia. That explains why only the Guardian hears that voice. It's not so much the Stellaron as it is the, uh... It's not directly. It's, it's the Stellaron corrupted their will. Because the preservation, yeah. Slowly career corrodes away. Destruction rules in the end. To see the home we vow to preserve wither away. That, in itself, is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. It is only a matter of time before the Amber Lord forsakes us. I assume the Amber Lord is preservation. Some people can't be swayed. They let others carry on the will of preservation. You. That's the Guardian's will. The personification of it, at least. You are but a stranger to us. And yet, you seek to bond your destiny. I mean, it'd be a tragedy to see a planet wither away and literally freeze to death. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Hmm. 
It sounds almost more like you're apathetic at this point. Touch the light of the amber, trailblazer. See if your will can attract their gaze. Who? The Eon of Preservation? God, this is a cool realm. Let's see. It's like a sword. <laughs> oh. Well, we are a force of destruction as well, I suppose. It would try to reject us. Oh, is that preservation? <laughs> it's pulled the sword of preservation out of, well, possibly quite literally thin air. Oh, it is. Preservation has made its choice. Nothing of the plight of this world. Nothing of the wait for its final end. Even if we are doomed to destruction. Walking hand in hand into darkness. Yes, we will, Branya. Damn straight, March. The Stellaron changes everything. <laughs> no, it doesn't. An ally is currently being locked on. Please use Stell's skill. Defense. The new skill could taunt enemies and draw attacks from Kukulia. Wait, are we no longer just destruction? <laughs> Indestructible. Oh my, my god, that's awesome. Oh, no, this is a trial, though. God, this music is fantastic. It's a shame it overpowers their dialogue, but eh, nothing we can do about that. All right, let's break you. Time for a bed. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. This is an awesome, uh, cl an awesome climax. Let's rock. Uh, go ahead and heal her. Hey nice teamwork. Well, Kakolia. <laughs> I love having taunts. Ooh, magma will is accumulated when cell attacks. Or is attacked. Consume four stacks of the Meg of Magma Will. Use an enhanced basic attack. <laughs> nice. Can you let me have some fun this time? Oh, don't worry. We're saving some for you. Time for a buzz. <laughs> She's no longer uh physical. Take that tail whip. You will not take away our hope. Such a hopeful heroic song. <laughs> the engine of creation is activated. Use it to destroy Lance of the Eternal Freeze. This song is actually almost like a remix of a lot of the songs we've heard throughout our time in Bellabog. An ally target action charge the engine of creation to unleash preservation creation's wrath. <laughs> Wait, 
right, so... Okay, that... Yeah, we have to, uh... Build the... Jeez! You oh, took the bait burst. just like that. What is her burst? Lance ablaze! Flaming lance! Powered! Oh! That's... That's an attack. Time for a buzz. <laughs> This song's Akolia. just for you. Let's rock! This combat needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. You are a tragic figure, Napoleon. Brought to despair by the future of this world and what then taken advantage the by the Stellaron. Guardians did good holding out for 700 years, but it's time for us to put this to a rest. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Lance up the ready. <laughs> you want to attack me? Indestructible. Oh, that's ready. <laughs> Preservation of creations a rat. So, we just get to straight up take control of the robot. <laughs> and, she, and she gets a shield when she uses that. Going down, Kokolia. Stand a chance. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. You will not take away our hope. Oh, we will. <laughs> Gotta get those vitamins. Nice or rather, we'll restore your hope. Goodbye, Colia. Oh, shit. Oh, she has three health bars. Uh, you wanna defend the weak? Defend them. Lance ablaze. Break her. Flaming lance. I gotta say that it is so much cooler than her baseball bat. As meme worthy and fun as that is. Such separate up vibes. This combat needs optimizing. Ah, oh, this rock ballad. With actual lyrics too, that's that's rare. Cool. The only redemption. And 
Stabilons are powerful. Let's heal. A big one. Don't you see the Colia? This isn't a world anyone wants. Your old self could see you now. Ready to jam. There we go. I'm definitely the fan. First circle. Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Hmm. That was uh it's much more fitting for Serval that we have a rock ballad going. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> oh, take her down. Oh, not quite. Damn imprisonment. Shoot, we need to take her down. Ah, but we need to heal. Gotta get those vitamins. Ready to jam. Can you take her down? There we go. Oh, no, now she's frozen. I suppose that's fitting. Oh, she was free from the corruption. Poor Rania. Oh. Oh, the earring. The smile. Poor Rania. Lights, or well, it's over necessarily northern, but I suppose it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Branya. I did have some level of hope that I could actually save her and free her. I suppose, in a sense, she, she was freed, but not the way we hoped. <laughs> Mother, did you wake up from that dream? I think in her final moments, she might have. That smile of hers. Wow, that was a tough trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I mean, we did make a march, but maybe read the room a little bit. Uh, it's not time to be excited. Sorry, Bronya. I think Stell might be able to handle this, though. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Oh, okay then. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Well... Kinda. I strongly doubt that just removing the Stellaron will completely reverse the freeze, and it's probably not gonna just erase the fragmentum corrosion either. But, at the very least, it should hopefully stop the problem from getting even worse. It should give them a chance to fight back. Which is honestly more than they had. Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Yes, it does. 
Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Urelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. The people here are used to it at the very least. And things will get slowly better. And that, I think, will be enough. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts <laughs> of the people here. Like I just said, the people here are strong. Hardy. I think they'll I think they'll thrive in the end. Especially with such a strong and wonderful supreme guardian taking the reins. Thank you. All of you. Branya. You are awesome. What do you want to do now? Can't think of anything funny to say. It's not the moment. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. I'm I'm fine. Don't worry. It's okay to be sad. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. Oh, yeah. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. Eh, these truths are really going to shake things. Just shake Bellabog down to its core. But the people love you, so and they trust you. I think you guys will get over it. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Tell everyone the truth. Yeah. Covering it up might help in the short term, but in the long run, it's probably going to come back to bite you in the ass. Can I really do that? It's up to you. Maybe start with someone you trust. And go from there. Try starting with Serval and Japard. Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. No? I mean, I think covering it up is a possible option, too. I'm not going to fault you for either one. It's not an easy choice. The truth could collapse your society. It would certainly. Well, your mother would be remembered very differently. Sila, I, I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. Yeah. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. That's a fair point. Yeah. Some would prefer the comforting lie to the truth. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? It's a good point. I still think you're right. If the truth comes out after the fact, though, it will bite you even harder. But telling the truth will cause an initial shockwave. It could very well bring you to ruin. Not an easy choice. Mother died to preserve Bellaba. What? Mm. The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. Mm. And yet, 
she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme <laughs> Guardian Kakolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. Oh. It's a good tale. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It'll certainly inspire people. So long as it remains the truth that people know. It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. Yeah, giving even more thought really is necessary if people are going to remain. I mean, if people lose hope, they'll definitely lose the uh, tenacity that's kept them persevering for so long. It's logical and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Yeah. Agreed. Let's use this version. A lie will always be a lie. Maybe we include some of the cool stuff we did? No, no, no. Agreed. Let's use this version. Thank you for understanding. Of course, Bronya. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. That is a big burden to carry, Bronya. But you have at least one other person with you here who can help you carry it. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Yeah, the secret will die with the two of you. And that may be for the best. Say no more. I know what to do. I really love these two's relationship. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld <laughs> and the underworld. Yep. There's a lot of damage that needs to be repaired. Sila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. <laughs> yeah, that will cause uh, so much jumping for joy. Of course, leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. Oh yeah, I don't know how long we've been gone exactly, but... While you do that... I'll head back to the administrative district. I need to tell Jabard. Serve. You okay, Bronya? Are you okay? Yeah. What's wrong, Bronya? Do you feel sick? I'm. I'm fine. I need to. I need to hurry. What? What? What's the matter? You need medical attention? What? Uh, she's exhausted. Quick! We need to think of something. Uh, you! Help me out here! You! March, you know my name. Don't call me you. Zila, take Branya back with you. We'll go to the Underworld and pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an Underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. <laughs> yeah. That's settled then. You stand out a lot, though. You. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun? No. For Bellabog's sake. We won't tell her a thing. Don't worry, Zila. She might figure it out, but... Also, you know, you're gonna look even more conspicuous with... You know, Branya on your shoulder. So, 
want to tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool <laughs> weapon in your hands and skip the story. Oh, you know. I just saw Cliphawk, the preservation himself, or itself. The second? That's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, March. <laughs> uh. Um, thank you. That's not answering my question, though. Oh, she probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Yeah. Remember that glance from Nanook? Very vaguely. I remember something weird happening. I didn't remember that it was Nanook looking upon us, though. I do remember Stell going ham on the uh, Doomsday Beast, though. Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. It does. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. I'm beginning to think we are going to connect with all the, uh, the eons. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Sure thing, Don Hug. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Brand new, or tread on a brand new path. Preservation. That is a cool path, too. Oh. Trial of Equally in Part 2 is out. Two new tracks. Oh, please tell me those are the, uh, the boss music there. I'm assuming that was a one of a pretty highly powered up version of her path of um preservation. You can switch between unlocked paths freely. Fantastic. So depending on what you need at the time. Make sure you to change your light cones and relics. Of course. It would be really nice though if um you know, she keeps her relics and light cones for, you know, each time you switch. Um, well, she, if she could remember the ones you had on her, in case you switch back, it would be really nice. Preservation. You, know, you want to give me your preservation there, March? Is this? Oh, because it's level. Um, is this one better for us? Let's see. We are wildfire. Let's see. Uh, at the start of the battle, the damage dealt by uh, to all allies decreases by 8% for 5 turns. At the same time, it immediately restores HP to all allies equal to 30% of the respective HP difference between the character's max HP and current HP. So, in other words, it closes the gap between maxed out HP and where they currently stand by 30%. I mean, okay. Let's see how strong it is compared to hers, though. Is that, oh, that is baby Zila or child Zila. That is adorable. Um, yeah, Marches is uh, quite a bit stronger. Wait, no, that's just HP. Uh, this one is stronger. Which one has a better defense? They have the same defense. Well. HP is good for preservation, but having good attack is nice, too. Granted, this effect is probably better. Five turns is pretty significant. 8% damage decrease... I don't know if I would say that's super significant, but we can't ascend it further right now. All right, let's see if we can ascend to marches then. And we cannot. Well, in that case, neither one is really better than the other. 
There you go. And our relics, well, we don't... <laughs> Honestly, these weren't really specialized yet anyways. Awesome. Oh, what does your technique do now? Let's take a look. Treasure of the Architects. Each time the Trailblazer is hit, they gain a... S oh, cool. Uh, they gain a stack... Or they gain one stack of Magma Will. For a max of eight stacks. When Magma Will has no fewer than four stacks, the Trailblazer's basic attack becomes enhanced. Dealing damage nice. to a single enemy and uh, enemies adjacent. Oh, nice. When Trailbla Trailblazer uses basic attack, skill, or ultimate, apply a shield to all allies mm -hmm. that absorbs damage equal to 4% of the Trailblazer's defense, plus 20. Nice. So not as good as Japard's, but not even close. But that's just the talent, though. Call of the Guardian. After using technique, at the start of the next battle, gains a shield. Source damage equal to 30% of, of her defense, plus 384 for one turn. Well, that's pretty significant, but it's only for one turn. Let's see, Ice Breaking Light Blast consumes four stacks to enhance basic attack, dealing four. Fire damage equal to 90% of the Trailblazer's attack to a nice. single enemy and 36% to enemies adjacent. Very good. Everburning Amber increases the Trailblazer's damage reduction by 40% and gains one stack of Magma Will with a 100% base chance to taunt all enemies for one turn. Good. Too bad it's only for one turn, though. War Flaming Lance. Pretty high energy cost. Nice. Deals fire damage equal to 50% of the Trailblazer's attack, plus 75% of the Trailblazer's defense to all enemies. Cool. The next basic attack will be automatically enhanced and does not cost Magma Will. That's a very nice additional effect. Actually. Okay. Nothing else. It's a really cool one. Nice. You know, the preservation. Right, now we don't have the Eidolons for her. And we gotta redo all these. Alright. Shall we look around? I doubt there are chests in this area. Oh, there's four. Glad I saw you too. Zila, Ronya. Are you all right? Are you hurt anywhere? Do you feel dizzy, tired, or? It is absolutely precious to see see Zila here, worrying <laughs> over her. I love it. I don't know, Zila. I feel cold all over. That's not good. We really need to get you to Natasha fast. Isn't that normal? This place is freezing. That's also fair. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you guys don't have the Trailblazer. You know, I forget what they call it, but uh, protection. Oh, let's get out of here before you catch a cold too. Don't worry, I'm a tough cookie. Here. Hold on to me. Let's go. Mm. I wish you two luck. I hope your friendship continues strong. Hmm. Is this the way we came? Will of preservation! There's a chest at the very least. Hey, 
Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Let's not this give you a chance. The other one. Let's not give the other one a chance to attack. Too slow. You took the bait just like that. They did. Time for a fun. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. It's time. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's taunt. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Good. Wonderful. Reach the end of the story in your own is way. Is that the way? No, okay, that is a new new path. Hey guys. Will of preservation. Gotcha. You took the bait. Oh, wonderful. Broken. I'd say we do. Where's the ram? Oh, nice. I'll give you uh energy. Hello. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Nice. Um. Yeah, go ahead and break it. Time for a fun. Pretty good crowd today. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Good. Uh, Lance yeah. Lance a blaze. Lance, Lance a blaze. Forward. Still great. Let's rock. Let me tend your wounds. Let me heal, actually. <sighs> Ready good. to jam. Excellent. <laughs> Here we are. Gonna be another warp trotter. Nope. You took the bait. Time for a fun. <laughs> Simple enough. It's pretty weak. Reach terror. the end of the story in your own way. This is not taking us back to the beginning, right? Oh. Another uh, cave, a cavern of corrosion. Path of Providence. This one gets us Guard of Wuthering Snow. It's good for preservation, it looks like. This is damaged by 8%. Again, with the turn, the wear, if the wearer's HP is equal to or less than 50%, Restores HP equal to 8% of their max and regenerates 5. That is actually really good for a preservation. At least a taunting one like, uh, like Stell. And genius of Brilliant Stars. Quantum damage. Nice. Hey, Silver Wolf. Might have something for you. Where it deals damage to the target enemy. Ignores 10% defense. And if the target enemy has quantum weakness, it ignores an additional 10%. Wonderful. You know, I was going to comment before I read that that those kind of look like something Silver Wolf would wear. Back well, no, her glasses are different, I think. No more chests? Oh, yep, one. Looks good. Oh, almost missed you. I saw that glowing light, though. That's three. And I know where the fourth is. Hey, you. We need a strategy. Yeah, we do. Um. Well, first. A little something for everyone. And then. Will 
Dog reservation. And then. Trickier to crack. Okay. Let's give you a weakness if we can. Pretty good crowd today. Fantastic. Turn it up. Um. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Then we pour you with it. So yes. This combat needs Optima. This is double speed. It's over. It's time. Um. Let's focus on attack. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Good. Sagacious discipline. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> Songs for you. King Shadow lost one step. That's good. Keep up! And uh, go ahead and break this one. Good. It was enhanced, right? More enemies. Time for a plug. Hillary, <laughs> time! That's it? Ow. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Let me tell you. Ready to lose your son? You can fight it. Or rock with it. I think we actually got this pretty in the bag. Nice teamwork. This song let's rock. You hey. You don't get him prison. Silver Wolf. It's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, taunt her. Pretty good crowd today. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Keep up. Can I have fun? Oh, this combat yep. needs optimizing. Uh, I should have waited. <laughs> This is double speed. So she gave a point of weakness. Oh well. Lance at the ready. Almost. Time for a bug. Excellent. Time for the make. That should be the end. Oh, oh, not quite. Sagacious discernment. This song Almost. Come on. Is it preventing her from dying? There we go. Honestly, that was probably the nicest formidable foe we faced so far. Oh nice. That's all the chests here. This one still has two that we never did see. Maybe they'll be around now. It's probably warp trotters. Oh, no, there's one. Did I just pass this the first time? Is that it? Oh, there's the warp Stingy trotter. Chest. We'll get you first. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Very good. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs> Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> Excellent. We're pretty strong at this point. Nice. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. One. Gotcha. No running away from me. It will outrun me, so. You took the bait. 
Time for a fun. <laughs> Time for the main We've event. Got pyro weakness. Wonderful. Ready to lose your you can fight it. Or rock with it. Lance of the ready. Um, yeah, just in time. Oh, yes, please. Lance a blaze. Lance forward. Where did my shield come from? Oh. Got one from a burst just now. I think. Time for a fun. <laughs> Pretty good crowd. <laughs> Let me turn your fire. I'm on guard. Ready to die. There you go. And that's the last chest, nice. right? Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Well, with that, actually. Still missing one in the administrative district that I've never found. There's no clue where that might be. Unless it just appeared now. Or is about to after we finish in Boulder Town. Also one in the Silver Main Guard Zone. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before. Otherwise, we're basically done. Look, there's a big crowd around the clinic. Oh? Do you think they felt the effects of the battle just now? Probably. Let's go ask around. You guys okay? It's over. We're doomed. I haven't even written my will yet. What are you so worked up about? It's not like we have much to will to anyone in the first place. Rip. Well, also probably true. Is it an earthquake? No, it couldn't have been an earthquake. What about an avalanche? Uh, not an avalanche either. And could it be the end of the world? Jeez. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Come on, dude. You know, you kind of look like the little girl who was the representation of the Guardian's will. Clocking off, finally. Alina, the little charmer, and Julian, the thousand-faced. But are you hooks, people? Huh? Oh, I can take your gift. I don't have a gift. But if you really, really want, I guess I can take it. But I don't wanna. <laughs> what? What gift? And why? Huh? Oh, so you didn't bring a gift? I'm sorry, no. So, what are you here for? I'm really busy. Please don't take too much of my time. Are you sure you're a little kid? I'm just taking a stroll. Hmm? I see. It's okay. Alina thinks you're so cute. I like being friends with cute people. I suppose. It's really nice to meet you. Well, let's get to know each other. Are you expecting a gift? Off. You didn't know? The kids in the clinic give me gifts every day. Guess you are the charmer, right? Clocking off. And Finally. why? Well, I don't know. Maybe they're just nice. I'm happy to get gifts, but sometimes there so, are too many, and I feel pressured. It's not nice to say no to gifts, so I accept them all. You know what? Sometimes kids even fight over giving me gifts. I do see what's going on here, but no reason to, reason to shatter innocence before your time. I just hope everyone gets along, can get along. Yeah. And why do they give you gifts? What are they up to? Hey, what are you asking me that for? Don't be a jerk. Why am I a jerk all of a sudden? They just want to. A lot of kids want to give me things and tell me they like me. Yep. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Grown-ups call that pursuing someone, but I don't really understand. <laughs> Clocking oh, off. you will someday when you grow up feel she was referring to something else sorry what did you say you can tell me if you have any problems people must like you a lot alina not really 
Uh, it sounds like the kids, the little, yeah, the kids do. Just made my day. Thank you. Actually, some kids in the clinic don't want to play with me. Wait, really? I'm getting mixed messaging here. Why? Hmm. I'm not sure why. Maybe they're embarrassed, bashful, afraid. A lot of the kids in the clinic don't have moms and dads, but my mom and dad come to see me sometimes. When my mom and dad are here to pick me up, those kids always hide far away. They don't want other people to see them. I think maybe that's why they don't want to play with me. Aww. Clocking off. Now I gotta go, Alina. A little charmer. Julian, the thousand faced, are you trying to charm Alina? Or are you charmed by Alina? Hmm. I'm out of snow white popping candy. Hi, Julian. What are you doing? Hi. Wait, who are you? Mom told me not to talk to strangers. Weren't you one of Hook's people? The one who disguised themselves? We played hide and seek together before. Hide and seek? That doesn't ring a bell. Uh, how would you? This was a huge life defining moment for me, Julian. I can't believe you forget it so casually. Hey, did you maybe mistake me for someone else? Pitch Dark Hook the Great sent me. Huh? Boss Hook? What does she want from Julian of a Thousand Faces? Oops, I revealed myself. Mm, fine, I'll stop messing with you. You are right. I'm Julian. What do you want from me? Clocking hey, off. little scamp. Finally. You had me go in there for a second. Clocking off. Finally. Don't you have urgent matters for me? Oh, right, you did. But we don't want to get into that right now. We have a quest to wrap up. I'm wondering. What are you doing here? Hmm. You seriously do not understand? I, Julian of a Thousand Faces, am honing my own disguise skills. It was an impressive skill. But aren't you very skilled already? Well, um, your praise doesn't excite me. And it's ouch. And Julian is savage. Anyway, the next time we play hide and seek, you won't be able to find me. I am 100% sure of that. Well, I'm looking forward to it. How exactly do you disguise yourself, if you're willing to tell me your secret? Hmm, it's a secret. I'm not going to tell you. Can't you... Tell, can't you tell me, please? Actually, Hook sent me. Oh, I mean, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. How dare you address her by just that name? Humph, I won't be fueled, fueled by that excuse. If Boss Hook wanted to know anything from me, she would ask me herself. Yeah, she would. That's fair. Yeah, I'm sad Boss Hook didn't have more of a role to play in all this. She was awesome. Haha, <laughs> your pathetic face tells me that. I saw through your trick. Uh, you win. Good. It's better for you to not know everything. If you can bring me a thousand packets of Snow White popping candy, I'll consider teaching you my, dis t my disguise technique. That's a lot of Snow White popping candy. Clocking off, finally. Oh, let's listen. Idle man, work time's over. Let's hang out. What do you say? I heard that catching ohms is loop. Wait, we've done this before. Way back at the start. You guys, okay? Yeah. Who's that shaking just now? That the whole building was about to collapse. The ground just kept shaking. Was it the fragmentum? Uh, not exactly. But kind of related, I suppose. Alright, let's go talk to Natasha. Natasha! See if Oleg. we can't keep the secret. Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them. How are you two doing? You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Oh, beyond good. Excellent news. Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength and then... Dunhung, 
can you slap March upside the head? I am very certain she's about to reveal something she's not supposed to. Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. Thank you. I'll probably say something I'll regret. You will. You'll say something we all regret. March, do you want to be responsible for the collapse of this entire world? No, I don't think you do. Well, I don't know, you are a little chaotic. But you you have the protection you have the gaze of you know Klepoth. You know, as a fellow preservation. You, you, I'm, I'm gonna You should be a little less chaotic. But please don't, I love you like this. Do you feel like recounting this story, Don Hung? Nah. The Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. March. <sighs> You're gonna give it away with your sarcasm. Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. I... I feel like Natasha's gonna figure it out, if she didn't just already figure it out. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? That is correct. We quite literally saved the world. <laughs> Through patting yourself on the back? No, not quite. I mean, March, we did literally save the world. This isn't an exaggeration. Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. It did. Mostly. It's just a shame that she had to be sacrificed like that. What about Zila? She's okay. She's fine. Just helping Branya. Don't worry. She's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. I'm glad your world is okay. Thanks to us. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? That is correct, Oleg. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The underworld will thrive again under her watch. Oh, I think it will. Especially now that she's been here herself and been here herself and seen how things are. I think the whole of Bellabog is going to become well. I think it's gonna thrive. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> The blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the underworld will breathe freely. Mm, those are her exact words, in fact. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. God, the first breath of fresh air. That's going to be glorious, I'm sure. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits Man. and bring them hope. Everyone just... Colin's just referring to poor Stella's you. So rude. Can't wait to see their faces. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. Of course. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? I mean, is it really a question? Hook in the molds, of course. I mean, we gotta report into our boss, March. You and me both signed up for the long haul, did we not? We can't just quit. Not without the boss's permission, and why would we want to? Hmm, roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly... <laughs> This should be Wildfire's final mission. Hmm. Won't that be nice? Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. <laughs> they might have. 
Hook does always talk about wanting to go on a rivet town adventure. Ugh, this could be bad. This could be wonderful, you mean? Oh, you know, I never did actually look at this message we got from Dunn. What are you doing still? Do I know you, Dunn? Oh, wait, is that... Is that the one who was crushing on Serval? I've left mechanical fever. Don't bother me. At least Silvermane guards aren't on. Aren't on my back. A little busy. Not bad. That's great. Listen, Stell. Our friendship began from our fight. <laughs> After the battle with you folks, I meticulously examined the security of the restricted zone. I think it's time to hold a massive military exercise to raise the new recruits' vigilance and defensive awareness. So, let me guess, you want me to bring Serval along to help out? I would like to invite you to be the main drill master and host the mil this military exercise, the Silvermane Guard Restricted Zone. Please, Stell, the youngins in the Silvermane Guard need your guidance. Whenever you have the time, come look for me at the Restricted Zone. Oh. Well, didn't even ask me to make sure Servo comes along. I'm surprised, Dunn. I respect your self-restraint. Bunch of world quests now. I see Gertie, but who's that lying on the ground? One of the moles. A quick, let's head over. Oh yeah, wait, no. Joshua. Oh my, this doesn't look good. Can you hear me? Are you okay? What happened? He's still breathing. Try not to panic on Gertie. Is everything okay? Wait, isn't that Peak? Don't tell me he fell asleep in the middle of the road again. Is that something we've seen before, March? I don't remember anyone falling asleep in the middle of the road. Oh, it's you three. Back in the underworld so soon? Yeah, we uh, took care of what we needed to. Came back to deliver some good news that, well. Word must have gotten out that I was renovating the hotel today. Being the kind-hearted young man that he is, Pete came straight over and offered to help. And so what happened to him? There we were hard at work when all of a sudden the hotel started shaking. I got everyone outside as fast as I could, but I think Pete was hit by a ceiling tile. Oh. Well, he's blinking, so I think he's responsive. I think he's just... Well. <laughs> Are you sure he was hard at work? Quick, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. I don't think that's necessary. Look, he's awake. He is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? Oh. You okay, Peek? Peek! Are you awake? Oh, thank goodness you're all right. <laughs> Little girl's go. happy. Take your time. Oh, oh, my back. Oh, I was having such a great nap. How did I... Yeah, I don't think he was working very hard. Are, are you okay, bro? Let me take you to N Natasha's clinic. Natasha's with us, I think. Hey, look where he was lying. What is that? And stone tiles? It's an old photo. I thought I lost this ages ago. How did it get... Did he find it while cleaning? Aunt Gertie, isn't that you in the photo? And old Goethe, too. Hmm. You look so young. Old Goethe. The one who's currently up on the other, you know, in the top world, running the hotel. Don't I know it. My distant cousin had only just taken over the family business at the time. He wrote me a letter inviting me to head up and take a look. It's been nearly 20 years already. Oh yeah, I think it is the same one. <sighs> I remember chatting in the hotel lobby and drinking tea. I wonder if we'll ever get another chance to do that. Hmm. You know, I think you will. The surface is about to open up after all. You know, we've got some good news for you, haven't we? 
We do. Man, that girl was really excited. Super energetic. Is that true? Bronya, she... I... I can't believe my ears. It's all true. Put your faith in Bronya. You and old Goethe will have the kettle on the stove in no time. I... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Turns out things aren't always lost forever. It feels like better days are finally on the horizon. Oh, they are. It's a distant horizon, but they're on the horizon, finally. Thank you all so much for coming to tell me the good news. I haven't felt like this in a long time. We'll get plenty of guests staying at the hotel again once the passageway is open. But there's no way I'm letting them set eyes on this old place looking like this. <laughs> oh, and we're gonna need to expand the menu. Oh, dear. Action stations! Yeah, you will. I recall the menu being a little bit lackluster. Action stations? Already? Uh, um, uh, oh, ow! Oh, <laughs> my, my head! Peek. Don't even try it. Please, let Dr. Natasha know not to worry. We're all okay. You three will have to come and stay again once the hotel is fully renovated. Of course, Gertie. We'll make sure to stop by sometime in the future. Now, where is Hook? Hook, Hook, where's the Hook? Hook, Hook, Hook. hook. Oh, Crimson. I don't think I ever saw that before. Boss, Boss Hook, you up here? Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Are you doing push-ups or? Not, here I come. Oh, it's hide and seek. Julian, quick, let's go see. Hey, Julian, of a thousand faces, how you doing? Found you. You ran all the way out here just to play hide and seek? It's too dangerous. It's impressive since we had just talked to you, too. Uh, Miss March, uh, didn't you go back to the surface? <laughs> we did, and then we came back down and said hi, remember? So forgetful, Julian. Or are you just trying to mess with us again? <laughs> since when did I become Miss March? And hey, where's Hook too. and the others? Come on, call them over. Aren't you our senior... Julian? I mean, we did join the gang after you. Oh, we just started playing. Can't we finish this round first? Yeah. Say no more. This is going to be easy. If we had lollipops, they'd give themselves up in no time. Great idea. Shame we don't have any. Yeah. Well, we better go and find them. I mean, Julian's gonna hate us for that. We're basically taking his fun. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. Oh? I'll leave the seeking to you guys. Fair enough. I mean, I enjoy a swing, too. Uh, actually... Hmm, look. Where could you be? Doesn't disguise herself like Julian. Not down there. Not down here either. Wow. She's doing a good job. This time. Oh, there you are. You sneaky, sneaky boss, you. Hook! <laughs> Got you again! <laughs> huh? What, what the heck are you guys 
guys doing here? Oh, wait till I get my hands on Julian, that <laughs> traitor. Where's his integrity? Yeah, you need to train him up better, Hook. Boss, I mean. Pitch black. Pitch dark, Hook the Great, I mean. Sorry. What about your integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? She did. I... I did not! The moles hold a vote on all our expedition destinations. Really? Oh. Gather your minions, Hook. We've got exciting news. Maybe we should go and get Natasha. Oh, ooh. Oh, you snitch! You'll regret it. I'm warning you. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. Oh, don't worry, we would never rat you out, boss. Just a little bit of playful fun, I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive us. Hide and seek update! Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero! What? Oh, well, March. We joined the moles, don't you remember? So really, it's just the moles too. Well, you can. Hide and seek is best at five, you know. Mm, she's got a point, March. These are well known rules. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. You came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Yes, because you will certainly get things wrong. Huh. What? You sound disappointed. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Hook. Julian. Oh, Alina was one of them, right. Is our story that scary? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Julian. Hey! Wipe your tears, Julian! You're second in command. No crying in front of grown-ups. See, that's what I thought. I could have sworn he outranked us. Huh. You three, listen up. Starting from today, you are the mole's number one rivals. Oh, no. We're sorry, boss. I don't know what we did. Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, boss. Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. Oh, I... I'm sorry. We didn't know better. I... I March. Down hung. Get down, we need to prostrate ourselves. But it sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunder, so... You're so sorry. We're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld. Oh, I believe then it. And everyone will sit and... Uh, sit and, um... <laughs> and what? And take notice. Uh, yeah, sit up and take notice. <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. <laughs> I didn't need you to remind me. Of course, boss. So that's why you were so silent. Hmm. If you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. March. They're already more awesome than us, though. Come now. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? <laughs> the old witch. Will that really make us as awesome as you guys? <laughs> In that case, deal! <laughs> Well, I guess Natasha's gonna thank us. We managed to actually, you know, corral the, uh, the moles. You know, conquered the greatest gang the underworld has ever known. Julian, Alina, let's run back to the town. Training starts today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boss, understood. Uh, Alina... I can, uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it. <laughs> Julian, don't be a creep. Oh? Ah, well, at Stowe, at March 7th, at Don Hung. The ceiling of the Stellaron is complete. The spatial distortion is dissipating. 
good job. Man, I was completely off base. I really did think she was just going to absorb that one as well. But the fact that she got the preservation, yeah, that definitely changes things. We should be back soon. Don't rush. Go at your own pace. The Express will be here before you're ready to leave. Great. I'm craving some juice. Pom Pom still owes me a glass. How is your reloaf six? Eh, not great. Even though the influence of the stellar one has basically subsided, the existing fragmentum is too deeply rooted. The eternal free. Come on. Oh. Almost made it. The eternal freeze has lasted a very long time. 700 years. Enough to severely impact the ecology of the planet. If by severely impact you mean basically eradicate it, then yes. In short, the planet probably won't regain the vitality that it once had a thousand years ago in such a short time. Oh, how could this be? I mean, March, this is kind of what we would have should have expected. Is there anything else we can do? As trailblazers, our mission has already concluded successfully. The fate of this world should be handed back to its inhabitants. Humankind has always struggled against austere conditions and had... Damn it. Well, stop message spamming me. Right it in one. Has always struggled against austere conditions and had always managed to thrive in spite of it. Now that the eternal freeze is gone, the fragmentum has lost its momentum to expand. Eurelo 6 will be revitalized. Believe in the perseverance of her people. I detected a high frequency spatial energy surge in the north of Eurelo 6. You might be interested in checking it out. Oh? Sure. Don't worry, that energy is not related to the Stellaron. It's only an echo left behind after spatial distortions fade away. Inside the echo, our perceptions of space and time that we are uh, that we are used to will become radically altered, to the point where it might even reconstruct certain scenes from our own past experiences. Are you saying I can fight the boss again? If you're in the mood and wish to relive those memorable adventures, you can try and uh, you can try your luck at places where echoes can be found. Cool. I wonder if we get special rewards for fighting the boss again. Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this: we sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. No, but it will reverse its destruction or allow them to reverse its destruction. And that is not nothing, March. That is a lot. This world had literally no hope before. And now it does. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. Um, it's still good news. We did all we could. Now it's a matter of time. That's the cruelty of Astellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. Exactly. Wait. That doesn't bode well. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. I feel like we're all, uh, should be on the same page about this. Did anyone actually think that the world would just turn around in an instant? No. I think we were all prepared for it to be a slow, generational slog back to, uh, well, thriving. Echo of War. If you past memories of battling formidable foes and obtain trace, obtain trace materials and rare light cones. Nice. Probably some of the trace materials I'm currently missing. Oh, uh, it's the Doom Beast. Nice. <laughs> that one's adorable. 
messing with the uh, Bailu's cheeks like that. Well, it's not one of the ones we need currently. Unless... Oh, no, it's for these. Okay. Yeah. So we do need it. Perfect. Winter is leaving. That's great. Let's change Bellabog. Starting with me. Step one. Defeat Supreme Guardian Kokolia. 